Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Channel, <laughs> I don't know where that came from. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I hope you all are doing well. I am feeling very, very, very optimistic and happy and just blessed and oh my goodness. Let me just give a brief like update on some things and then we can hop into today's video. Um, so first, you know what I always say, because this is still very new, like the channel, um, I live near an airport. So if you hear airplanes, sorry. And also if you are new here and you have not subscribed, please do um, subscribe, hit that bell notification so that you can stay up to date on all of the things that I post. If you love digital planning, if you love Samsung tablets, um, all that jazz, then come on over. And if you're interested in anything like freebies, um, check the link below. The link tree will have my social medias, my Etsy shop. I'm currently running a flash sale. I'll be doing another one soon. I'm just kind of trying to get a feel for the different algorithms and to get more noticed, etc., etc. And so that's why I'm doing that. I'm gonna just quickly show the freebie for this Friday because I'm filming this on a Friday. And so I want to share that really quickly and then I'm going to uh, talk to you guys about a few things for this Sunday. Um, so let me go over to my website. Uh, let me see. Oh, while I'm, while I'm doing this, you guys will not believe what happened to me. So I was using my S Pen Pro to plan and the tip broke like the tip of like the little thing here broke off with the the stick still inside of here i was devastated i was like oh my god how am i supposed to fix this and it's totally my fault because i'm very heavy-handed when i write and i have to remind myself that with the s pen you don't have to do that with the apple pencil because i draw i change up the pressure and all of that based on what i'm drawing and so and then with it being plastic and on that paper like protector or whatever like it just yeah so what I ended up having to do was, and if this ever happens to you, I recommend you do this, but be safe and careful. Get yourself a safety pin and bend it straight. Put fire to it until it turns hot red and then stick it in there and pull out <clears throat> the plastic. And I was able to replace the tip easily. So that freaked me out. I'm sorry, I'm rambling. Let's go ahead and hop into the vault. And while I'm doing this, um, I'm going to explain this freebie. So if you are new to digital planning and you are unsure if you want to invest in a planner, I just wanted to think about you and I, this is a planner in here. It's the back to basics black and white planner. And I'll just show you guys like a brief little flash through. Um, it's free and it <clears throat> has hyperlinks. It looks like this. Oh, oh. We're gonna go back to reading mode. Anyways, um, it looks like this, and it has a year at a glance page. It's all blank because this is an undated planner. So you will decide how you want to do this. It's got a goals page where you can use widgets. You can draw in things. Um, <clears throat> it's got, I'll just swipe through. Um, uh, what is this supposed to be? Um, this is for trackers in case you wanna use some of the widgets for my shop to track. Um, things like that. Uh, you have Bible study where you can use once again widgets to study. Um, it has a journal where you can write in like your thoughts and things like that. Basically it's got a good amount of templates. It's got like a little gallery section where you can put pictures. You've got your months over here. You got a week view offered within the months and you can put a verse of the week. It's broken by money, more money. It's broken by one morning, oh my gosh, afternoon and evening. And then you also have a daily view where you have everything set up here. You've got like a little water tracker, uh, today's accomplishments, like all set up in here. So um, if you are interested in this freebie, it is already in the vault by the time you are watching this. So I just wanted to point that out. But any hoot, today's video, um, well, Sunday, you're gonna see quite a few videos go up for me, um, from me, what am I saying? Because the Lord has actually really been working on my behind and he's been really trying to get me 
back to my goal. I got off track giving so many tips and and tech videos and this and that and I forgot what my purpose of this channel was. So I want to let this be um, today for me to catch up with a lot of questions that I get in the comment section and then I'm also going to plan uh, do a plan with me. So you're going to have like maybe, I don't know how many videos are going to go up today, but it's going to be more than usual. Next week I'll be back to my usual one video a day, Wednesday and Sunday. But I just wanted to do this and then pile it into like a tutorial section and then let that be it. Um, I was going to do a video where I planned my uh, planned in my iPad next to my Samsung, but the Lord has once again straightened my behind out. I am going to wait on that video. I have more pressing things that I need to cover. God has been blessing my shop tremendously. I just opened up like two months ago at this point and I've already hit 53 sales. God is so good and I just feel so overwhelmed by the support already and I just the messages are so sweet whenever um, someone purchases and things like that but a lot of times they're uh, these are new people as far as like new to digital planning and so I want to get more videos out where I show more of my products how to use them and how I'm using them to grow closer to God and everything like that. So I got off track, but I'm going to get back on track. Will I ever do the Samsung video where I show the Samsung up against the iPad? Absolutely. But just for right now, I'm going to postpone that. Also, on Sunday of next week, I was supposed to do an art video for Samsung. But once again, that's me getting off track and trying to please everyone. And I cannot do that. Um, I am a full time mom. I do homeschooling for both of my babies and on top of that I'm running this business and of course I run my household as far as like keeping things organized neat clean so my hands are full doing that kind of app while trying to do everything else not that kind of app that kind of video while trying to do everything else is kind of complex so I'm gonna just answer that person directly with a video that I found that I feel like does a better job than what I can do um, if you are interested in that video I will link it below it's basically all the best Samsung apps for drawing whether it's free or paid for the pros and cons etc so I will link that below I will no longer be doing that video that one's not postponed that one's just not happening um, and also it's best I don't do it because I don't use Samsung to draw so I, I feel like it would be uh, ill of me to make that video because I wouldn't be using it um, I'm a procreate girl when it comes to drawing and my art any pro product that you purchase from me outside of widgets and certain simple things that I can create and certain programs that I use um, are done on procreate so without with all that being said sorry I just had a lot to kind of update and say um, this video is going to show you how to do fonts so we're gonna talk about fonts today um, the first thing we're gonna talk about is fonts on the Samsung tablet altogether the second thing we're gonna talk about is how to bring fonts into touch notes so um, I'll timestamp it in the uh, description box so if you're here to learn how to put fonts into touch notes then skip to there if you're here to learn how to change the font of your tablet altogether then uh, start here so what we're gonna do we're gonna go on to not this we're gonna go on to the internet <clears throat> I'm sorry <laughs> that was like the most disgusting thing so I normally get my fonts from creative fabrica I have a subscription with them and I use their fonts often uh, for my planners but for the fact that it is a paid subscription, I'm going to go to another font website called I'm tripping. I'm sorry. That's the wrong skip scratch that first. I'm supposed to show you how to bring the fonts onto the Samsung tablet. So let's do that. I was totally tripping. So we're going to go over to display in our settings and we're going to go over to font size and style. You're going to go to font style and you can either download fonts which I personally purchased some fonts, but you can go to top free and you can pick a font over here for um, from their uh, free fonts or you can go to like the top paid fonts and they have some really pretty fonts here that you can use. Um, I'm currently using, uh, what fonts do I have? I've got, I purchased the ZF Cutie Girl font which I think I'm going to switch back to that for right now. Um, and as you see, it's really easy to switch. 
and that will actually help you if you are using Samsung Notes because Samsung Notes doesn't let you uh, change or bring in fonts. So what you'll have to do, I don't know why I pulled that up, what you'll have to do with this is just change your font with the actual system and now when I type it will show up in that font style. Um, you can see that. So you see it's in the Z Girl Cutie Girl font. Hello girl, with a little heart on there. So if you're looking for something like that for like Samsung notes, then I highly recommend that you do that method. Now, back to where we were going. Let's go to the font. It's D-A-F-O-N-T. I will link it below if you haven't already heard of this website. Um, but with this website, you just wanna be careful. If you're making um, products and you intend to use these, you will need to purchase uh, the commercial license if it's allowed. Sometimes it will literally be just for free personal use. So let's say we want this shortbread cookies font. Let's download the font and it'll say starting download and you're going to open the file. And now we're going to hit extract. Extract. All right, and I'm gonna show you two different instances that can happen to you as far as um, touch notes is concerned. So we're gonna go into touch notes. You guys, my nails aren't chipped today. I'm feeling really proud of that because whew, the last few days, my nails have been ugly. Anyways, okay, <laughs> that's, that's neither here nor there. We're just gonna go to the little brown teddy bear for our example. All right as I swiped right through it. All right, so we're gonna pull up the text function. And down here, you will have the fonts. So you'll, if you've changed your font within Samsung, then your font will be that font, uh, as far as like what you'll be using. But if you want a font that you've gotten offline, then you will go to import fonts. And then you're gonna go to your inner storage. When you download the font, by the way, make sure you know where you downloaded it. It should be within downloads, but you know. So you go to your inner storage, you're gonna scroll down to downloads, and then you're gonna go to the font you downloaded. So we know our font was called sugar cookie. So let's go to sugar cookie. Oh, shortbread cookie, excuse me, shortbread cookies. And there the font will be in TTF form. You're gonna click that and it'll import it. Now we've got the sugar cookie font on here. So I'm just gonna turn it white so you can actually see it. So let's just type hello. And let's make it like so much bigger. I guess when you type with this font for the first part of it they give you like a license situation so it says hello but then it says free for personal use only for commercial use for commercial use purchase a license at brittanymurphydesign.com so let's see hello okay hi how are you see how the font is here and i'm going to show you another instance say you downloaded a font and it was the OTF font because the format for the font, and it says it within touch notes, it says TTF, which means that your font needs to be in the TTF format. This is a very easy fix. You're gonna go over to the internet and you're gonna go to cloudconvert.com. This is just, um, I think it's Google that does this. But anyways, so you're gonna select a file you're gonna select the OTF file. So let's go to the file that we just downloaded, which was the, what was it y'all, sugar cookie? I keep forgetting, uh, shortbread cookie. <sighs> Lord, I tell you my brain is just like, where is it? So this is why I said, remember where you put your font, cause I see the zipped file here, but that's not what I want. No. Let me see here. Let's just go back to files and let's go to my thing here and then let's go to downloads and then we should have an easier time finding. 
sh there it is shortbread cookie all right so we're gonna look for the otf let me float my thingy over it here we go so this is the otf file that means that it's an otf and it's not in ttf and we need it to be in ttf so you're going to convert to ttf once you do that you're going to hit convert oh well basically i've already converted enough fonts but you'll convert it and then you'll download it once it's downloaded you will do the same steps where you will go into touch notes you will go here, you will import font, you will go to inner storage. You're going to go to your downloads because that's where you downloaded it. Sometimes your fonts will be all the way at the bottom, like here, especially if you downloaded it. It won't come in a folder. It'll be down here with the little AA symbol. But otherwise, it'll be in a folder with the name of the font. I hope that this helped you. Uh, if you did not know how to bring in fonts or to deal, how to deal with fonts on your Samsung tablet, um, yeah, that was it for this video. <laughs> I will see you guys next time. I, like I said, I hope this helped. Don't forget to check out the new freebies in the freebies vault and I will see you next time. Bye.